After Bill and Ross and Keegan and Liam passed away in toward the end of February, three years ago, we were beside ourselves with grief, of course, and we wanted to do something about it. It just didn't hit home until, of course, it was our family. You know, CO is a danger that most people are just not aware of. Our goal is to just ensure that this doesn't ever have to happen to anybody else, anybody else's loved ones, anybody else's brother, sister, nephews, cousins, friends, sons, daughters. We just would love for people to know there are some simple steps that you can take to ensure that you're safer. The suggestion was made by a close family friend of ours that our Lions Club should host a three-on-three -three tournament, which was fitting because Bill was a well-known basketball player, played up at Rick's back in the day. We also really feel strongly about the dangers of carbon monoxide poisoning. The thing about carbon monoxide is that there are worse things in the world than carbon monoxide poisoning. More people will die in a car accident probably during the course of this interview than will die of carbon monoxide poisoning this year. But the thing about CO is it's so easy to protect yourself. And so many people don't even realize it. Our primary purpose with this fund uh, is to increase awareness and education and protection against carbon monoxide poisoning. So at the tournament itself, we'll give away, we've, First Alert Corporation has been generous enough each of the last three years to donate 100 CO detectors. So we'll give those away at the tournament. A lot of people that think they don't need one in their home, this is what I have experienced or learned in the last several years, are the ones that feel like they have an all-electric home. So they don't have any gas appliances in their home, so they don't feel like there's a threat. And I would suggest to those individuals still have at least one carbon monoxide detector in your home. Because even if you have no gas appliances in your home, there are still those other ways that you can receive carbon monoxide. Bill and Ross and their kids lived their life believing that people should be anxiously engaged in a good cause. They just did. Everyone that knew them was touched in some way by the service that they consistently performed. For us, it is a great way to remember them by using their memory to help provide service to the community. It's, it's perfect and it's a very emotional experience for us every year.